In this video, I am going to be sharing five of the most useful techniques of identifying and catching huge trends very early. If you watch the whole video and follow these steps, you will soon become a master of trends. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. With that being said, let's get into today's video. So first let us understand what exactly a trend is. In simple words, a trend is the overall direction in which the price moves. When the market is moving upwards, we call it an uptrend. On the other hand, when the market is moving downwards, it is called a downtrend. Now, a lot of traders always prefer to trade in the direction of the trend. Hence, it becomes quite essential to identify the trend of the market and enter the trend early so that we can maximize our profits. So let's start with the first technique of identifying and trading the trend, that is, the highs and lows. The market does not move in a straight line. Instead, it moves in a zigzag pattern with long impulsive moves that are followed by short pullbacks. The peaks here can be called as highs, and the valleys here are called as lows. In an uptrend, we can clearly see that each newly created high is higher than the previous high. Similarly, newly created lows are higher than the previous ones. Hence, we can see that in an uptrend, the market makes higher highs and higher lows. The market will keep on making higher highs and higher lows until the trend changes. In a strong uptrend, the market will not break its most recent low. Hence, the most recent low is the last line of the trend. Whenever the price is in an uptrend and it breaks its most recent low, we can expect a reversal or a deep pullback. Either way, we can short the market when it breaks the recent swing low. On the other hand, in a downtrend, we see that the price makes lower highs and lower lows. In a downtrend, the most recent high is the last line of the trend. If the price breaks above the most recent high, we can expect the price to reverse and start a new trend. So we can buy the asset here. Technique number two. Support and resistance. Support and resistance are basic elements of technical analysis that provide structure to the price movements. Whenever the price is in a sideways range, we see that the price is stuck between a major support and resistance level. But in a trending market, the situations are quite different. When the price is in an uptrend, the price does not respect resistance level. Whenever the price creates a swing high, we mark that level as a resistance level. In a strong uptrend, we see that the price breaks these levels of resistance with ease. In fact, after the break above the resistance, we see that the price finds support at the resistance. Hence, whenever the price is constantly breaking above its resistance levels, it is a strong indication of an uptrend. We can enter the trend on the next break above the resistance. Conversely, in a downtrend, we see that the price keeps on breaking below support levels. Whenever the price creates a new low, we mark that level as a level of support. In a strong downtrend, we see that the price soon breaks below the support level with ease. After the breakout, the price finds resistance at that price as well. This shows a powerful bearish pressure. We could enter the trend when the price breaks a support level. Or we can enter at the retest of that level. Technique number three. Moving averages. Moving average is a simple indicator that plots a line that represents the average price of the asset over a fixed number of candles. The main objective of a moving average is to reduce the market noise and provide with a clear indication of the trend. If the price is trading above the moving average and the moving average is sloped upwards, the asset is said to be in an uptrend. On the other hand, in a downtrend, we see that the price is trading below the moving average and the moving average is sloped downwards. 
In a sideways range, we see that the price moves around the moving average, and the moving average stays flat. Now, different moving averages are used to identify different trends of the market. A 20-period moving average indicates the short-term trend of the market. A 50-period moving average indicates the medium-term trend of the market. And a 200-period moving average shows the long-term trend of the market. Here, we see that the price was below the 20 EMA, and the 20 EMA was sloped downwards. But at the same time, we see that the price was trading above the 200 EMA, and the 200 EMA was sloped upwards. So, we can say that the market is in a long-term uptrend, and, at the same time, the market is in a short-term downtrend. In a strong uptrend, we see that the price is trading above all these moving averages, and all of the moving averages are sloped upwards. This is a clear indication of a healthy uptrend. Similarly, in a strong downtrend we see that the price stays below the moving averages, and the moving averages are all sloped downwards. Technique number 4. ADX. The ADX is also a very popular trend indicator that is widely used by trend traders. The ADX in an oscillator that consists of three lines. The white line here is the ADX line. The green line here is the positive DI line. And the red line here is the negative DI line. The ADX simply shows the strength of the trend. If the price is in a strong uptrend, the ADX line will rise. When the price is in a strong downtrend, the ADX line will still be rising. The ADX line is trend neutral. The dotted line here marks the 20 level for the ADX line. Generally, when the value of ADX line is above 20, the trend is said to be strong. The positive DI line shows the strength of the buyers. And the negative DI shows the strength of the sellers. In an uptrend, the positive DI is above the negative DI. On the other hand, in a downtrend, the negative DI stays above the positive DI. So, when the positive DI is above the negative DI, the ADX line is above the 20 level, and the ADX line is rising. We can conclude that the price is in a strong uptrend. Similarly, when the negative DI is above the positive DI, the ADX line is above the 20 level, and the ADX line is rising. We can conclude that the price is in a strong downtrend. Now let's come to the last technique. Technique number 5. Trend lines. Trend lines are also very popular elements of technical analysis. A trend line is a simple line that is drawn by connecting the swing highs, or the swing lows of the market. They help us in understanding the direction of the trend, and they also help us in identifying trend changes. So, if the price is in an uptrend we can create a trend line by connecting the recent swing lows of the market. Similarly, if the price is in a downtrend, we can create a trend line by connecting the most recent swing highs. So here, we see an uptrend. So, we mark the recent swing lows and stretch a trend line across. Trend lines act as levels of support and resistance. Hence, whenever the price is near a trend line, we expect the price to bounce and continue the trend. But, if the price breaks out of the trend line, we can expect a reversal. So in an uptrend, if the price breaks below the trend line, this shows a clear loss of momentum. This could lead to a strong downtrend. Similarly, in a downtrend, if the price breaks above the trend line, we can say that the sellers have lost momentum. Therefore, we can expect the price to make a higher move. So here I have shown you the best ways to identify and trade the trend. That brings us to the end of this video. If you liked this video then be sure to subscribe.